Hello and welcome to this Bitwig practice session. In this episode, I'm going to talk about MSEC and Bitwig. What is it and why am I talking about? I will tell you, but let's get started. So first of all, there is no native MSEC in Bitwig. Not hidden, no Easter egg, no nothing. There is no MSEC. Maybe there you can tell um, the four stage modulator is something something like an msec a little micro msec or something but uh, that's not a replacement for the whole topic so what is an msec an msec um, is called um, multi-stage envelope generator and it's an envelope and envelopes we know from the adsr envelopes for um, amplifier and filters for example and um, msecs are um, a little bit simpler than that because on the ADSR you have uh, two time-based um, controls then they have a level control with a sustain level sustain level um, stays for example um, on the same volume until you release the note and then the time-based release parameter is um, jumping in so MSEX are more simpler or simple and um, sometimes I want to use something like an MSEC but I don't have a tool like uh, for example LFO tool or gatekeeper so um, um, I wanted to have like a, a preset or a library where I can just load that uh, pattern I want to use to uh, my clip for example and just use it and don't want to um, create it uh, at that moment so what I can do is I can create clips and um, save those clips in my clip library and that's how it started I was uh, thinking about to use um, for example I create a new track with uh, control T and in this uh, track I put in a tool device something like this so and normally I add an automation lane because MSEX are like automations, automations um, at its basic, and but MSEC has uh, the MSEC tools. They have um, some more functionalities, um, not only uh, uh, automation. So they start with a if you hit a note, they they play on every note, they loop on a note, or just do one shot or whatever. But at at the the basic ground, they are just automations, like automation in the arranger. So I want to limit this to one bar. And normally, um, I put in like an automation like that. Put in some curves here something like that or with the pencil tool and the alt key pressed something like that or if I um, decrease the grid to 32 can like paint in something like that or with the comma or the the dot I can change this values with comma it gets um, smaller with dot um, it gets higher and with uh, the minus minus key it adapts to the grid so now I have this automation and with the alt key I can alter the curves here for example and um, if I play this automation you see the volume knob is changing for the automation so um, what I can do I can create such an automation and if I want to save it in my clip library I just click here to create a, a clip and very important I have to put in a note into the clip because if I don't put a note into the clip it won't save the automation so um, now my, my clip or my automation is ready to, to save. So I uh, do right click on my mouse, save arranger to clip library. Then I name my clip and mostly for something like MSEC or so, I start with MSEC, then the name of my tool and or my device, 
in this case my tool device. Um, this automation has a name, let's call it like, I don't know, Frida. And this is Frida's first MZEC. And in the tech uh, field, I put in MZEC2 and tool2 for the device. And um, I click on save device in clip. So when I save this, this clip, the device is always saved with it. Okay, this is how you can uh, save uh, automations in, in the clip library. And always uh, remember to put in one note. It has, can be one note or a thousand notes. Um, um, it's totally, you can totally do everything there, but there has at least to be one note in it. Okay. But I thought, mm, this automation is great. It's the best autom automation I ever drawn, but I want to be able to uh, shrink the dynamic of this automation. So I don't have this dynamic, for example. I only have, for example, this dynamic, just visually. Dynamic is the same, I know, but visually, um, if you have a dynamic like that, so from very silent to very loud, I want to shrink it like like a compressor is doing to a, a lower um, dynamic. So I came up with the idea for the tool device. I use a Macro 4 device. Okay, and then I name the tool as MZEC tool. Um, so, um, as, as MSEC tool, I delete this automation lane for this. And the Macro 4 modulator has four uh, knobs that I can wiggle here around. And the first knob I call like volume automation. And this knob will be automated. So now I can draw in my automation here. Oops. And use the Alt key and the pencil tool to draw this wonderful, beautiful automation, best automation you will ever see. One of my secrets. And um, now if I play this automation, nothing happens because the play cursor is somewhere else. <laughs> this knob wiggles around so and um, as i told you i want to decrease the dynamic of this one so visually so i have this for example this um, dynamic instead of such a dynamic so i use a little trick um, the volume automation will uh, modulate another knob that I call deflector roll. And this deflector roll will be modulated by the volume automation counterclockwise. And I open it up to 100%. So the next knob is my amount for the, for decreasing, or, oops, amount for increasing or decreasing the dynamic in here. And this um, knob I put on 100% and it will be modulated by the deflector roll counterclockwise as well. So if I play now this um, automation, but this time, wait, this time, I draw in a very simple automation. Where is it? Where is it? Here is it. From maximum to minimum. So you can see what happens. The volume automation is uh, starting at 100%, going down to 0%. The flector roll is doing the opposite direction. The amount is doing the same, like from 100% to 0%. Now I can pull down the amount and it's just doing from 50% to 0%. That's how I um, configure my amount. It's not 100% the same, 
but it goes in that direction. So um, this is the volume knob and the volume knob is a bipolar knob. So um, I turn this knob on the left direction. Then I use the amount modulation and modulate it one on one. And the last knob I call parameter, parameter, and this knob controls the volume knob as well, but as bipolar. So to one, to one. Okay. So now everything is modulated and you see the volume knob is going from 100% to 0%. If I use the amount knob, it starts somewhere here. So it just uses um, a shrinked dynamic or compressed dynamic. I can increase this with the parameter. So it maybe starts from 100%, but just going this way, not the whole way. If I increase the amount, I have to um, pull back the parameter as well. So now I have the full range of my um, automation. So that's how I do it with a tool device. The same I can do with, a, for example, a filter device. I use again the macro 4 knob. And start again with msec filter. Okay, these, um, these devices I save normally as a preset, so I can just load in um, uh, such a msec tool and don't have to define it every time the same. This filter I rename to msec filter, then I um, call that filter automation. This is again the deflector role. This is again the amount and this is again the parameter. So the filter amount at automation line, now you see msec filter. So it's clearly this device. That's why I'm always naming such stuff. msec filter, macro 4, filter automation. I know this is this knob. Okay, the filter automation modulates the deflector roll counterclockwise and deflector roll will be put on 100% and the deflector roll modulates the amount counterclockwise and the amount is put to 100%. Now the, the filter knob is not a bipolar, it's a unipolar knob that's uh, much more easy. So the amount will modulate this filter knob and the parameter will um, um, modulate the filter knob as well. So I can open this, for example, and if I just copy that automation on here, okay, now the, the amount Maybe I put some a polycent here so you can hear that a little bit. Maybe if the master is on and we need a longer note. I can reduce the amount, for example, that or higher amount. And now you have a a small control over the dynamic of the automation. So um, now I can just use that 
on my track. This was the temporary track. I just delete that again. And um, for example, here I have a little track prepared with no automation in it. Can use that. Should snap. Yeah, now it snaps. Okay. And now I want to use some clips I saved before. So what I do is I create with Control T a new instrument track, or could be audio track as well. Then I open the clip launcher, and with this plus sign I um, load my clips. And now I can search for my clips with MSEC, or I can create a new smart collection like my mzec list and this is now my mzec list every time i open the clip launcher browser and click on my mzec list i see all my um, clips i saved with the tag mzec for example and um, because i put in the other tags like filter and tool i can just filter here with the tag or to be sure i see it here again and the naming like msec tool rhythm something 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 so i load for example rhythm 2 then i load for example rhythm 1 um Maybe here, then I load here uh, 16th and a stutter for 32. These are all tool MZX like, and now I put them on here, for example, zack, zack, zack. And here, and uh, you can see there are all the automations in there. Now I close the clip launcher. And this is how I want to apply my automation on my polysynth track. So now I can just do very easily use, um, use this uh, MZEC tool device and just drag and drop it to the polysynth or move it. Like there. Now on my polysynth track, the MSEC tool devices and it it um, copies all the automations with it. So at the moment on my polysynth, there is this one. This one so and again I think okay I can delete this temporary track because everything is saved now on my polysynth track and I said okay I maybe want to have another filter I create a new track with control T then I open the clip launcher load in MZEC filter this one for example put it in here and watch, this is the automation. And now I can loop this automation like this, for example. And looping just, um, uh, you can just use looping if you didn't edit it something before here. If you edited something, moved or some did something on that automation lane, um, the, the looping function won't loop the automations. That would be nice if it's doing it anyway, because if I want to loop, I normally want to overwrite the automation or I use this automation following clip editing to not overwrite it. Because if I use this, um, if I unclick this or deactivate this, I can move the clip without moving the automation. And as long as this is activated, I move the, I move the automation with the clip. So. This is how I want to have my automation on my polysynth. So I just grab my uh, message uh, MSEC uh, filter device, put it on the polysynth, and now I have on this 
uh, track my tool device and my msec filter device and now i can delete the temporary track and my track looks like this and sounds like this <laughs> something like this and um, you can use that in several different variations for example um, you can you could um, use it on on your bass with, for example with uh, such uh, kick bass dugging i used it here already um, but for example if i use that here I create a new temporary track, then I open the clip launcher and the clip launcher I hit my msec list, then tool and kick duck for example. And on this kick duck I put it on here. So this way. Now I could use something like this i cut this track like this and delete everything else in here there's some more uh, the endpoint is still there and now i put that on my base track now I have this automation on here and could work on with an oscillator for example could work with an oscillator how I could um, uh, duck the bass when the kick hits for example like this I don't know and do some normal uh, duplication things like that, for example. So this is uh, this um, what you what you maybe know from LFO tool or Gatekeeper. What people are doing like this kick base ducking, where you draw in automation in in this plugin, and it um, always repeats when you. Um, hit the note. So that's uh, that's all I think. I'm not really sure. I'm looking in my notes, but yeah, this is it. Uh, I hope this helped you a little bit. If you don't own a, um, an MSEC tool like the tools I mentioned, like the plugins I mentioned, and if you just don't want to buy it for some some um, situations you have or you just want to keep it everything in your door without or with uh, uh, less as as possible plugins this is a good um, this is a good way uh, just to start into msec world and um, this is not really msec but it's an automation like msec as it as its a basis is but msec has some more possibilities that you don't have in automation like that but the advantage of this way doing it is you have the total control about your arrangement so uh, an msec tool would be like it would do every time if the base hits it would do that and um in a normal automation way you could you could say okay i don't want this at at this position i want to have it like this and on this posi position i want to have it like this for example this is more control with a with an extra plugin you have to define new um new msex for that and uh um, use automation as well to define that and that position so everything has its advantages and its drawbacks but i think as a simple msec 
replacement maybe you could you can use something like the clip library with predefined clips and automations then always think or uh, um, yeah, think that you put a note inside the clip you are saving with an automation because if you don't do the automation won't be safe so if you like this video and you find it helpful or you don't like this video okay if you don't like this video so don't give me a thumb don't subscribe um, <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah then you make sure that I won't do some more of those tutorials. <laughs> In every other case, just, um, yeah, hope I see you next time and stay healthy. See you. Ciao, ciao. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom.